I think the message of this ride is I have everything. I mean, you know, I got pretty prepared, but uh, what is it with these bugs? Do I need bugs gray or what did I do wrong? Quite a lot of smoke. And uh, I did videotape coming up this road, as I said, and I put my camera away and thought that was it for today. But you know what? I'm really thinking that going downhill um, is going to be more scenic. But we are quite up. I don't know exactly what the elevation is, but uh, it is, oh geez, 5,000 feet. Boy, I really sound sure of myself now. 5,000 feet? Woo! My voice goes higher as I don't know, but uh, yeah, 4,000, 5,000 feet. I mean, it's, you know, it's nothing too exciting, but uh, it's definitely a high vantage point. Um, and... Uh, is they keep up these fire roads. I mean, uh, uh, some of these roads around here get pretty, pretty mangled to a point where um, you probably need a really big fire truck with four four wheel drive or a, a dirt bike or an adventure bike to get to to make any kind of pass on it. Um, but this is just sublime. No wonder there's so many people up here camping and. Uh, it's not necessarily too hot today, but it is cooler up here. You can notice it. You can feel it. And it's kind of nice not to be stuck in a heat wave kind of thing. And I remember that there was some lookout point down here. I'm sure I'll run into it. Yeah, so I've been having a lot of fun with my new Zoom H1. And that brings me to uh, acknowledging comments people have made. I'd like to give shout outs, but I forget who they gave, gave the comments. But I did a video complaining about the audio, and somebody will have to comment and said, just, just get a Zoom H1. And uh, sometimes you get those comments, but uh, I ignored it. And, uh, and I've now got a Zoom H1. So, really. Action cameras, you know, the intent of action cameras are not to support external mics and stuff. I mean, you're supposed to be jumping off cliffs into, into the water on, you know, nobody's worrying about microphones. They expect you to put some kind of music to it. So, look at this view, everyone. Can you see it? Am I pointing the camera in the right direction? But yeah, the Zoom H1 is nice because it allows you to adjust the input levels. Depending on what you're doing, so I would definitely recommend it. And just forget about audio on these action cams, and, it, and it's it's freeing in a sense because you're not hooked up to the camera. You can just take the camera and put it on a ledge somewhere and walk away, and you're still on mic. So I think it's, it's it works out. But you got to remember to sync your audio. Now I don't expect anybody. <laughs> Any moto vloggers to keep a clapboard with them to sync their audio, but you know, you got a beep or clap or something to sync the audio with the camera. And then later on in editing, what you do is you get the uh, sound file and you sync it up with that clap. And then you turn the sound off in the action cam video part. And then, then you have the audio from the mic. Really beautiful up here. I think this is a lot more scenic going down. I'm sorry, but I'm going to check the camera one more time. Okay. Pretty good up here. I love these kind of roads where it's really, really on the top. So you peek out on the west side and then you come over here and you can see the east side. I mean, we're literally on the top now. It's kind of nice. So let's see, I was talking about uh, comments. Somebody else made a comment about the glare 
of this uh, windscreen and uh, I agree with you it's a little bit more predominant on on camera I don't notice it when I'm riding because I look over it but yeah it is a little annoying and that might be a knock against the v-stream but I do like the bubble kind of design but uh, you know I might get an MRA and and uh, and that way let's fumble around in the dirt that's always fun. Let's watch Scott fumble around in the dirt. Um, I might get one of those an MRA. I think MRA is really good. Wow, this looks... This doesn't look as cool as I thought it was going to be. A lot of ridges. A lot of ridges. No, I'm not standing up. No, I didn't air down. I'm just... Just coming over to the cliff here. I'll stand up so you don't have to look in the glare of the V-Stream. And there's the rest of the valley. So down there, I don't know if you can see that little water and this valley here. And you can actually see the road off in the distance. But that's uh, Fraser. Well, that's, uh, is it Linwood? Linwood Valley Road. So that's Linwood Valley Road. And up in those mountains over there is where I did the Fraser Park video. So what I do is I come over... 33 well this is all 33 here and i ride over this mountain and then get down into that valley and you can go that way so you can see the road down there by that green spatch that goes out to that's 33 out to 166 and then once you get on 166 you can go to santa maria or maricopa and it's very boring out there because it's all straight lines and flatlands you go in Linwood Valley towards Fraser Park, you're going over another set of mountains and you got snow tire warnings and chain warnings. It's very nice in there. And this is Ray's Peak. Now those mountains way off in the distance, that's actually Pine Mountain Club, even though they call this Pine Mountain Recreation Area. Here we go down here, look at this. Gotta be really careful around here. It gets sketchy. Well, what's nice about today is it's not windy. It gets really windy up here. So I just thought I'd warn you, this is not the nirvana that you might think it is. But um, it's this weird in-between summer and fall kind of day where it's the best weather you usually get in the year and it's, it gets a little bit like that between winter and some, uh, winter and spring but now I don't really know the history of this area but uh, considering all the other places I've been in these type of mountain ranges and fire roads and dirt roads this is really kept up nicely um, so there must be some kind of historical significance to this place uh, I don't know I'm not sure. Um, maybe there was a bad fire here once and they decided let's put a decent fire road back here. Um, but you'll know all these little, you'll see all these little whoopie doos along the way. And that is drainage, which is really smart um, to curb erosion and just get, get the water flowing in a natural place. I think it's really cool. Ooh, there's another good lookout point. Now, I'm not going to stop and take a bunch of pictures. I mean, I did take a couple of pictures when I got up to the top. Now, see, I'm scanning ahead. I see one black car. Um, I do have an Instagram account. If you, you know, you know, if if you watch one of my videos, you know, you're trying to get to sleep at night, you watch one of my videos, and if you want just a little bit of a extra treat, just go look at one of my photos, and that'll put you right to sleep. Oh, the hawk is watching me go down. And I think we'll just go right here. And then we'll let the guy go across. Ooh, there's one of those things again. So this is not as busy as I thought it was. I mean, looking at the campgrounds, I think everybody either comes here at the end of the day or early in the morning. 
and then they just camp out, you know, they might spend the day, they might spend the evening, sleep over, um, so, which is good, because on some of these roads, it just becomes, you know, head-on collision alley, and, and it, it gets frustrating, it's not fun, you know, you want to look at the scenery, you don't want to be too concerned about, wow, that's just beautiful, beautiful out there. So nice. Yeah, this is much more picturesque coming downhill. Even even my Yo Slip on agrees. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if you can hear me. But it's there. Guess not. I don't know. I should have waved. Oh, wow, I just blew that hole. Jeez. I just, you know, the etiquette of fire roads. I just, you know, didn't read the manual before. I'm just not prepared. I really shouldn't be up here. So let's see, back to uh, comments. Somebody said something that was very enlightening. And it's, you know, it's things you just keep doing. And, you know, you do need somebody to call you out on it. And it's not, a, it's not impolite or anything. It's okay. But I've been saying motor vlogger wrong. And I've been saying vlog wrong. But, yeah. I don't know where I picked that up from. I think somebody said moto vlogging. And it just kind of stuck with me. And, um... I mean, technically, vlog is short for video log, and it is two words, so I guess saying vlog is not a crime against nature, but you know what? Hey, I want to be like the cool kids and say it correctly, so it's vlog, not vlog. Where did I get that from? I don't know. Really nice up here, really nice. And just to have the floor and the fauna and some water and some moisture and everything like the way it should be is just, uh, it really is a game changer considering we had, I don't know, many years of drought and everything is just, there's no water, everything's dry, everything's dead, all the animals are dead. Not that you want to run into a lot of animals out here, but you know, they, they, they get thirsty too. And, uh, it's just uh, really interesting. So there's 33 going down the mountain. But this is Ray's Mountain. A lot of nice views up here. A lot of nice views. Wow. I mean, you can just see 33 down there. That's just, it's so cool to see it down there. And yes, once in a while this this gate is closed. That's you know if I write a book that's gonna be the, the title of the book is 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 the gate open? Because <laughs> again it determines what you can and cannot do. This is always sketchy here. Alright, alright, picked up a Honda. There's the dirt road over there, road closed, see? Sometimes that's so. So, technically, it's probably the same road and they cross over. So one's paved, one's uh, dirt. Some days, it all depends on my energy level and what I can and cannot do. And I have to conserve my energy so I can freaking get home. <laughs> so on that note, I don't know why I'm still talking. You can't hear me. The mic's probably breaking up and not working. You know, but I like to 
um, in my videos with a nice sweeper on 33. And uh, but I will see you guys in the next one. And everybody ride safe. Bye bye now.